Are you stressed and tired of lagging in Fortnite? Your shots are laggy and don't hit? Your builds are delayed and shot through? You keep glitching and teleporting across the map and every time you encounter an enemy, you are totally wrecked. Today I'll be showing you several ways to drastically lower your ping in Fortnite so you can dominate. Now here's what my ping looks like, it's about 273 ping just in the beginning. We're going to work this all the way down to the least possible figure we can possibly get. Now first things first, we want- Hey, don't forget to smash the like button, let's try to get to 10,000 likes on this video and comment down the method that worked best for you. First, we want to go down in description and then we want to go ahead and search for websites and click on the link to my website. Now once on my site, I need you guys to go ahead and click on the link to the Gear Up Booster site. Now Gear Up Booster is an app that allows you to drastically reduce your ping without having to go through trackloads of technical steps. Now once you just go ahead and click on download to start free trial and then wait for the download to finish. Once it's done, just go ahead and double click on that and then go ahead and click on the install button. Now let's just wait for this to finish. Great. Now once Gear Up Booster loads up, just go ahead and click the search bar and type in Fortnite. Now go ahead and click on Fortnite and wait for it to load. Excellent. Now you're going to see the server region on auto and the node on auto. Now you can go ahead and click on auto server and then you can decide to choose this specific region if you know what you're doing. I choose Europe because I'm much closer to Europe than I am anywhere. Once it's done reloading, you can go ahead and click on auto node as well and then you can select the exact European server you want to be connected to. Now I live very far away from any Fortnite server and that is why my ping is about 101 at its best. And so I'm going to take about the Paris one that is FR03. I'm going to click confirm and then I'm going to click confirm for it to reload now as you can see i've selected my server or my region and i've selected the node that i would like to use now you can go ahead and launch the game once you're done with these two things now you don't have to do this next step you can skip ahead into the video however if you want to be on the safe side go ahead and click on your windows bar and type in create a restore point and i'm going to click on that once it's here i'm going to go ahead and click on my main drive i'm using the boot camp which says system and then i'm going to click on configure now you want to go ahead and turn on system protection for the drive that you'd be using Using and click on apply and OK. Now once that is done, you see that the crate comes up. Go ahead and click on that and then you can name something like let's say Fortnite and then you can click on create and wait for that to finish. Now by far this is an ultimate change that I've made that has significantly improved my ping. Getting a different service provider could be the difference between 200 ping and 0 ping. This is single-handedly the problem that many people are facing and could be solved by just changing your internet provider. Now for this next step, you want to go ahead and click on your Windows bar, go ahead and type in settings and then click on it. Now once here, you want to go ahead and click on the Windows update and then you want to make sure that there are no Windows updates running on your PC. Also you could go ahead and hit the app hidden button and then make sure that there are no torrent, there are no epic game and there are no steam installations or updates going on currently. That could be one secret reason why all these things could be happening. Honeygain is an application that allows you to share your internet and return it gives you money. Now you can earn up to $30 a month and even more and you can claim $3 once you've registered. Now this is an app that I used and it works very well. Now they also give you daily rewards and the best part about Honeygain is that it allows you to withdraw right to your PayPal account. Also, it allows you to complete challenges on the right hand side so that it can give you credits for that and it allows you to add more devices so that you can share more internet. Now if you're on Windows, you get 10% for every bit of internet that you also share. But for this next step, you want to go ahead and right click your Windows icon and then click on Task Manager. Now once here, just make sure to click on Network and make sure that the arrow is looking downwards. Now this will allow for you to see the most apps that are using your internet and could be causing the ping and the lag that you're experiencing in Fortnite. Now go ahead and hit your Windows key and type in Control Panel. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and once you just go ahead and click on Network and Internet. Now once that loads up I can go ahead and click on the Network and Sharing Center once again and then once I'm in the interface I can click on Change Adapter Settings to the left hand side. Now once here, I need you guys to go ahead and find the internet that you're using. You could be using Wi-Fi or you could be using anything, but I am using my Ethernet cable, so I'm going to double click on this. Now once this loads up, you want to go ahead and click on Properties. Great. Now once here, we're going to look for Internet Protocol version 4 into bracket TCP slash IPv4. Go ahead and double click on that. And then once here, you want to go ahead and click on Use the following DNS server address and click on that to check that box out. Now what you want to go ahead and type in is 1. And then you're going to hit the other key, hit one, go ahead and type one again on the other side and make sure to fill the whole thing up with ones. Now the next side, you want to go ahead and type in eight, 
click on the next side eight click on the next side again eight and then the last side eight again once you're done with that just go ahead and click on ok and then you can go ahead and click on ok once again close out of this and then you're done with that step another golden tip that worked for me was disconnecting every other device that was not the device i was using to play fortnite so that all the packets could be streamed towards one device and give me the lowest ping possible now go ahead and click on your windows key and then go ahead and type in cmd now once you make sure to click on run as administrator now what you want to go ahead and type is ipconfig space with the forward slash and type in flash dns and hit enter right away now this is going to flash your dns cache and allow the internet to move much more freely now go ahead and click on your windows key and type in settings now i'm going to click on this and wait for it to load now once here make sure to click on windows update next you want to go ahead and click on advanced options and then you want to scroll down and click on delivery optimization great now you want to go ahead and look at the allow downloads for other pcs go ahead and turn this off and then once you've done that click on advanced options now you also want to go ahead and click on percentage of measured bandwidth switch from absolute bandwidth and go ahead and check every single box here and drag all of them to the least possible value on the list now i'm going to make these very very low everything five percent and five gig here now this method was a game changer for me getting closer to your router can reduce the level of interferences that happen through your wi-fi so you have the best and the lowest ping possible now go ahead and right click on your windows bar again and go ahead and click on run Next, go ahead and type in gpedit.msc and hit enter right away. Now, once here, I'm going to expand this so that you guys can see what I'm doing on my screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on administrative templates, the drop down, and then I'm going to go ahead and double click on network. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click on QoS packet scheduler. Look for QoS packet scheduler and double click on that. And once you found this, go ahead and look for limit reservable bandwidth. Go ahead and double click on that as well and then go ahead and click on disabled click on apply and click on ok now make sure that you've disabled every single vpn on your pc that could be one of the reasons why you're having so much ping problems and also you can go ahead and click the show hidden items and click on any antivirus that you might have running in the background now disabling whatever antivirus you might be using could also help you a ton so make sure that you've disabled your antivirus and you've disabled the vpn that you could be using now this method worked like magic for me just like wired keyboards wired mice and wired controllers having an ethernet cable will be far superior than using your wireless network because this reduces your packet loss and reduces the interferences that you experience while playing fortnite now for this next step you're going to click on your profile at the top right hand side you're going to click on settings and then you're going to go ahead and click on game now make sure you select language and region and then normally it will be on auto for most people just go ahead and find the one with the lowest number or the lowest ms mine will be europe so i'm going to select that and i'm going to click apply this is one of the crucial steps that causes many problems now go to the intel's driver and support website and make sure that you've installed the latest wireless wi-fi drivers on your pc this could be hard Highly the reason why you're facing very high pings. Now these next two steps may seem absolutely ridiculous, but going ahead and turning off your Wi-Fi and turning it back on could solve it, and turning off your router itself and turning it back on could also solve it. Now in all honesty, your best bet to getting anything lower than all we've done is to get closer to any Fortnite server around the world. Now I'm living very far away from any Fortnite servers and I'm getting about 125 ping. Now you might be living very close to that and you might get better performance than I am. And so this is what it looks like to optimize your PC to get the best ping. Now if you guys are using a Chromebook, make sure to watch this other video on how to get Fortnite on a Chromebook. Now make sure to smash the like, subscribe and bell button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.